Now to the growing outrage over that startling video we showed you last night here. You'll remember the image is the drone and attached to it a loaded semi-automatic weapon. Being fired right from that drone, right in that park, and the FAA now investigating, raising big questions. Were laws broken? Here's ABC's David Curley tonight. It's disturbing. A quad rotor drone with a semi automatic handgun mounted, firing several times. This 18 year old Connecticut college student who built it says he was just applying technology he's learning as a mechanical engineering student. Trouble is, he may have broken two federal aviation laws, releasing something from and arming a civilian aircraft. It could be a setback, too, for the industry promoting drones. I want the FAA to enforce their rules. This device is actually just taken apart. Um, we want to discourage people from doing this. There are plenty of other problems. Drones around airports with landing jetliners. I know it's bizarre, but it looked like a little drone went, went beneath us. To just last week, grounding aerial tankers in the middle of a California fire. Fire having to shut down until drones can be removed. Tonight, the FAA says the gun drone and its owner are under investigation. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.